Hey guys, Steve Welch here with Bima Toyota in Nashville. Um, had a question on the rear seat reminder on a Toyota RAV4, so I'm gonna go ahead and answer that. So first off, um, why does it come up and then how can you shut it off, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do like what anybody would do, all right? So um, whether you're putting a child in the back seat, something like just putting your briefcase back there, putting your groceries, whatever that could be, you're putting something in the back seat. You hop in the car, all right? You obviously shut your door and then you go to start the car. Now, it doesn't matter if you're driving off, if you're actually going somewhere, if you're, uh, you know, if, if you've done anything, but once you shut this back off, you're gonna get attention, check rear seat. The reason for that is obviously you open the back door, so it's not necessarily looking for a child. Wow, right there. Not necessarily looking for like a child or that, um, but it's trying to give you a reminder to check the rear seat. But there are some people that don't want that reminder for whatever reason. Um, some vehicles will also give you an extra couple of beeps after you lock the door and go beep, 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 beep to try to tell you to, to check that back seat. But if you don't want it on, it's actually pretty easy to shut this off. All right, so I'm gonna kind of show you. You're gonna look at these buttons right here. All right, now you see this up here and I know some people will be like, eight miles per gallon. It, this is a new car, guys. There's, there's, It doesn't have enough information to figure out what it's doing yet. But anyway, so we're gonna kind of go over here and I'm gonna keep going over and you'll kind of see all these menus that pop up in the center screen here. Once it does that, I'm looking for that menu right there. All right, and then I'm gonna hit this down arrow right here. You can also hit the up arrow, whichever way you wanna go. Um, it's just easier to tell you down arrow. Now, once I get to that particular setting right there, which I just blurred it, but anyway, once I get to that, you see vehicle settings, I'm gonna press and hold the center button. Now you're gonna put bring this up here. So now you can come down and oddly enough, see the words rear seat, yeah, it doesn't end it, but rear seat reminder right there. And then you're gonna press this button and now you can see it says rear seat reminder is off. That's the way you shut it off. Now, oddly enough to turn it back on, same same thing you just re-hit that button you hit that button 20 times doesn't matter we turn off turn on turn off turn on but that is how to set the rear seat reminder on your newer rav4 right so um depending on the rav4 you got obviously this this should be the way to do it um if you don't have that big screen and you have one that's a little bit uh a couple years older something like that that center screen still going to look very similar and it's still going to go through the same way it just won't look exactly the same when it comes to your speedometer but it will be in effect, the exact same way to set, to turn it on or turn it off. So um, appreciate Chanel for answering that, asking that question, um, sending this video now, but uh, you guys definitely like, subscribe, appreciate you guys. Uh, Steve Welsh, Beam and Toyota, you guys have a great day. Talk to you soon, bye.